Hey guys, Spider here, and this is a Modern Warfare 3 quick tip. This time, we're going to use the in-game music to drown out the sound of our movement or bomb plan or whatever. This is more specific to uh, Search and Destroy. It's more tactical for Search and Destroy. But uh, basically, we're going to look at a, at a typical round in Search, and uh, there's music that plays in the first five seconds of the round, which really doesn't do anything. Uh, <laughs> it's, you know, you're not even going to see any enemy players in that time. But uh, what I really want to get down to is around the one minute mark, and are actually just under the one minute mark. From 59 seconds to 49 seconds, there's about 10 seconds worth of music that plays during that time. If if you're not running dead silence, or even if you are and you're doing a bomb plant, and you figure you're getting sound horde, or even if you don't think you're getting sound horde, um, make your move at that point in time. At 59 seconds, make your move. Get Go to the bomb if if you have the bomb. Go to the bomb site and and plant the bomb. If not, go and check out the bomb sites or whatever. Uh, if you're sort of crouching and, and waiting for the enemy to to come by you or or whatever, you're just playing it tactically a one v one. Just use that 30 second mark. I mean, I'm not saying if you're at a minute and a half to wait a minute and then do it. But if you're in and around that time, why make your move in a minute five? when you can make it at 59 seconds and you reduce the risk greatly of getting sound horde. And I have done this repeatedly in uh, in past Call of Duties, uh, more particularly in uh, Black Ops and, and World at War, and we'll see the difference. Um, I'm actually going to show you Black Ops. But if you look at the, uh, the menus in Modern Warfare 3, there is only one game volume option. You can't, you can't just turn off the music. Uh, if you turn that volume down that turns out down all your game volume everything it's not just the music whereas in contrast we'll show you in in black ops here all right so here's the the contrast with uh with black ops and i'm going to say modern warfare 3 is going to be more like modern warfare 2 and cod 4 you don't have the the different options for the uh the sound settings and you'll see that the music lasts a lot longer here in black ops than it does in modern warfare 3 at the beginning of the beginning of the round so there is, the, you know, there's less sound whoring possible. I mean, you can still hear people, but it's going to be muffled or, or masked by the sound of the music. Yes, people can turn it off, but, you know, as, <laughs> use it to your advantage. I, assume that some people don't have it off. I mean, if if at all possible, if you're going to make your move or, or you're doing initial rush, it's going to help you. And if somebody happens to have the sound off, they happen to have the sound off. They don't have the sound at, at the minute mark, like Modern Warfare 3. The sound on, or the music that, that plays in Black Ops happens at around the 29, 28 second mark. And it lasts for the rest of the round. So again, try and use that to your advantage. Um, I mean, you can go at any time you want if, if you don't have, um, you know, a class where, where your, uh, your footsteps are silenced. But you may as well, again, it's the same argument. If you're at the 45 second mark, why move then when you could have an advantage or a greater advantage at the 30 second mark and move while there's music playing and it's going to mask your sound? And if you go into the Black Ops menus, you can see there's a separate item. There's actually audio settings, a, a separate screen for it, and you can actually reduce your music volume down to zero. And that's what I typically do. Just for purposes of the video, I, I put it back up there. But, um,. But that's that. I've done that. I, I do that in search. It's pretty effective. And like I said, even if people have the option to turn it off, they don't. But if you do have the option, you're playing Black Ops and you're playing World at War, turn the music off. And but no, know, know those cue points. I think World at War it might be a bit different. You'd have to go back. I'm not going to do all of them. Um, just these two, the Black Ops and uh, and Modern Warfare 3. But it might be at the minute mark. I don't recall. Um. But just make note of those times so you know, even though you have your music turned off, you know at that point in time there's music playing and potentially the enemy player doesn't have their music turned off and that's when you make your move. I mean, you're not going to assume they're not going to hear you, but you're just going to um, use, again, with me, with search and, and tactics, I'm not a young kid. I don't have the reflexes of of a cat or whatever you want to call it as as you know, as much as you younger players do. So I got to rely on all these things and I utilize them to my advantage. Every little bit, every little advantage helps, particularly in objective games. And I try and use them all. And if you guys use them all, you'll be better players. And maybe you're already doing it. But 
and and don't knock in the video because there are a lot of people that don't know this stuff that don't know okay guys so um hey it's tips for everybody i'm not a pro player nor do i uh pretend to be one so hope you liked it i'm spider bite and i'm out <laughs>